In this review, I will demonstrate the pros and cons of using a monitor arm with your display tablet. For those of you who are like, monitors have arms? Let's start with a quick overview. A display tablet is a type of drawing tablet with a built-in screen you can draw directly onto. If you happen to own a model that supports VESA mounting, then you can choose from a variety of stands like a monitor arm to make the tablet more comfortable to work on. A monitor arm attaches securely to your desk. If you happen to use a multi-monitor setup, monitor arms will allow you to easily reposition and rotate your displays. There are pros and cons to using a monitor arm for your display tablet, which is what we will look at next. First, the pros. The main selling point is that a monitor arm gives your display more freedom of movement. You can change the horizontal and vertical position of the display, you may even be able to hang the display over the edge of the desk, expanding your desk space overall and freeing up the desk surface. The gas spring mechanism in most monitor arms will allow you to customize the tension. You can make the arm feel very rigid and unmovable, you can make it as floppy as a noodle, or you can find the perfect balance in between, which allows you to move the display easily while letting it float without sinking down to the desk. You can also change the angle of the display, which makes monitor arms very ergonomic. This is particularly useful to artists because you may want to switch between drawing with a display vertical and flat against the desk. While a few display tablets like the Wacom Cintiq 22 come with an adjustable stand, many display tablets do not. They only have folding legs, and the larger tablets require you to hunch over them, which becomes very uncomfortable while drawing for long periods of time. If you're using a large display tablet, an adjustable stand or monitor arm is essential in my opinion. I recommend a monitor arm because they're more universal and give you more freedom of movement. Aside from Wacom's Ergo stand for the Cintiq Pro 24 and 32, or the Zoot system, most adjustable stands do not support rotation of the display. Rotation is a key feature of monitor arms. I can easily work in portrait or landscape mode, depending on the project. I can even rotate the display to make certain angles easier to draw. And compared to the price of some of these adjustable stands, a monitor arm is quite reasonable. And the last pro is that a monitor arm can help to manage the cables for your display tablet. I'm using Velcro cables and a cable tray to manage my cables, but I could also route the cables through the monitor arms. And now for the cons to using a monitor arm. First, it adds an additional expense to the cost of an already expensive display tablet. You may even need to purchase an adapter or mount to even attach the monitor arm. In the case of the largest Cintiq Pros, that's an additional $80. Other tablets may have VESA holes drilled into the back, and you may just need an inexpensive adapter plate that converts the screw position to fit your display. I had to purchase an adapter for my Cintiq 27 QHD, but the other two monitor arms just fit the display as is. You can see that the screw depth is too long for this particular arm when connected to the Cintiq Pro 16. I used a folded piece of paper to span the gap, but you should really use the right size screws so you don't damage your tablet. Second. A monitor arm adds weight to your desk. These metal arms are quite heavy. Therefore, you'll need a very heavy and stable desk in order to even get a display tablet up in the air without the desk tipping over. If you're using a motorized standing desk, it may have a weight limit. I have managed to place three displays and three arms on my desk, which is a fair amount of weight, and I'm still able to operate the lift, but your desk's performance may vary. Third, using a monitor arm makes your display less portable. Most of us just want to leave our display tablets on our desk, but there are situations where it would be nice to move the tablet to another location. In particular, the small and medium display tablets like this Cintiq Pro 16 are meant to be portable. It's not terribly difficult to remove it from the monitor arm, just inconvenient because I have to loosen the tension in the arm first, or it could seriously injure me or something on my desk when I take off the screws. And the last con is that monitor arms must either be clamped to your desk, or you must drill a hole in the desk. Both scenarios will result in some damage to your desk. Mine has dents from the clamp because you really want that sucker not to slip. It is worth mentioning that rounded or beveled desk edges can make it very difficult to even mount a monitor arm. I am just barely able to use certain types of clamps on my desk because of the slope and depth of the bevels. Just as well, if your desktop is made of thin tempered glass, I would only copy what I am doing if you want to break everything on your desk at once. Now I know how this happened. If your desk cannot support a monitor arm, then you're kind of stuck with an adjustable stand as the only other option. 
Now that we have a good idea of why you might want a monitor arm, let's look at some brands. On my desk, I have two display tablets and a standard monitor. All three displays are attached to their own unique monitor arm. First, the Ergotron LX. Ergotron is the brand most people associate with monitor arms. You see them everywhere from banks to doctor's offices. You can't go wrong with Ergotron, but what about all the other brands out there? They look essentially the same. First, let's differentiate between monitor arms that are actually just Ergotron arms with a third-party branding and monitor arms that have been uniquely designed. Wacom offers the Flex Arm, which is just an Ergotron arm with Wacom branding on it. I don't have one of those, but this Amazon branded one I found in a thrift store looks nearly identical to the Ergotron next to it. Whereas the Wally monitor arm I also found at a thrift store looks like the same basic concept, but has been manufactured differently. All three monitor arms do basically the same thing. They give the tablet mobility, they clamp onto a desk, they connect to the tablet with a VESA mount, and they require a hex wrench to tighten or loosen the gas spring tension, which is what holds the tablet aloft. One of these wrenches with a wide handle works best for that. But according to Ergotron's website, there are some differences that set their products apart from the other monitor arms. It mostly looks like the Ergotrons provide smoother movement, last longer, and can have a higher weight capacity. While the Wally monitor arm is the only non-Ergotron arm I have used, I suspect that there are many that do not perform very well, which is why I see lots of non-Ergotron arms at the thrift store. The Wally in particular feels cheaply built, and it does not glide as easily as the Ergotron when you adjust it. It feels rather stiff compared to the other arms I'm using. Nevertheless, the display it is holding up doesn't need to move much, so all I really needed to do was elevate it off the desk and rotate the screen to portrait mode. If I were trying to use this for drawing, I would find the rigidity more off-putting. So do non-Ergotron arms work? Yes. But would I recommend them? Not really. I'd just go with an Ergotron brand arm if you can afford to, because in my experience, it performs better overall. The one I am using has been in service for nearly six years, and it still works great. If you see one in a thrift store, definitely get it, because the LX is nearly $200 new. The two non-Ergotron branded arms I got from the thrift store were between $7 and $20, but normally even those might set you back $100 or so. So there you have it. Those are some things to consider when deciding whether or not you need a monitor arm for your display tablet. If you found this video helpful, subscribe and become a member, or press that super thanks button if you haven't already. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.